Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Hello, Ms. Hi, Bar everyone. Hi, Ms. Janae. Hello, Ms. Barbara. Can you see me okay? I can see you okay, but your screen has frozen. So um, I don't know. Maybe move your computer around and see if we can. Okay. There you go. Okay. You're back. Okay. I wanted okay. to show you this kitty before he leaves me. Come on, EJ. He's really strong. I remember EJ. <gasps> e Hi, EJ. Do you remember last year there was a little kitten and he came up close to the camera and he was staring into the camera? That's him now. He has grown oh humongous. Like, um, you wouldn't believe this cat is less than a year old. He's ginormous. And I think he, is. he has big feet. You see his feet? He's got like big tiger paws. <laughs> Please don't scratch me with your paws. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's a big boy. Oh, he's sweet. He's so sweet. He's a really cute, sweet kitty. I just Aww. hope he wants to throw back the feet. Yeah. Um, hopefully we, well, I can report there's two more kittens outside from another cat, from someone else. Um, we don't keep the babies. Like we, we try to fix our cats, but they keep coming. So, and they don't let us touch them. They're feral. So um, yeah, I don't think we'll be showing them on church school anytime soon because they run every time they see me. But just letting you know, there's more kittens outside. So get your cats fixed. Everyone fix your animals. Yes, and, absolutely. And Ms. Janae, we're listening to a noise uh, from your computer. Can you tell us what that is? Someone is using a leaf blower right next door. <laughs> so I apologize. It happens. People doing their yard work. Uh, hopefully they stop while we're talking, but just letting okay. you know. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's light our candles yes. that represent the light of God's presence in our lives always. And I'll go ahead and get us started in prayer. So if we can close our eyes and bow our heads for a minute and take a deep breath to center ourselves. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together again here on Zoom. Um, thank you for the fact that very soon we're going to be able to see each other and not only hear your message, but also be able to enjoy each other's presence. That's happening very soon. And we ask that today you open our hearts and our minds to your message about Pentecost and that we can learn, learn from the Bible, from the stories from each other, learn how to be better Christians. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, thank you. So as you said, today is Pentecost Sunday. This is a big day because it is considered the birthday of the church. Uh, the first Pentecost took place a little bit after the death of Jesus. Uh, it doesn't say exactly when, but it was shortly after that time. And it took place in a church during a regular Jewish festival called the Festival of Weeks. And that happened a long time before the time of Jesus. And many people were gathered in Jerusalem in a church. And it was like a normal festival day. And all of a sudden, the Bible says a huge wind blew in from the heavens. And it, uh, it wrapped around people. It was like wind and fire. It was supernatural. Uh, and the people were enlivened by it. It was so mysterious and magical and energizing. And it had them speaking in other languages that they didn't even know. They were able to speak new languages, other languages. And it was all unexplained. Uh, and it was considered the Holy Spirit coming down to give people new hope uh, and to help them see the Holy Spirit is there, Jesus is there, and that they have a job to do. They officially have to go out and spread Jesus's message. Uh, and this was something Jesus had promised he would do, was to come back um, following his death. So this was a major thing, and the church was considered to be born on that day. Mm. Uh, and so in our own time, uh, we have things 
Well, the Bible says mainly the central idea is it gave people hope. People at that time, the disciples, Christians in that time were persecuted. Do you know what persecuted means? Ms. Yes, Bible? they were uh, discriminated against and they were hunted and they were, you know, people did nasty things. Right, right. So uh, the Christian community and the disciples kind of lived in fear. And this event gave them hope, it gave them strength, and it, it empowered them. Uh, so it was very important. And I like to think that in our own time, there are people or causes that have also been suffering to do the right thing and may have also given up some hope, but events turn around and they have new life. They get new life. So I think of Black Lives Matter. Excuse me, there's like hair on my nose and the cat. I think of Black Lives Matter and how the, the, the fight for civil rights and simple justice being done uh, for people of color has lagged for so long. And then last year with the George Floyd case, it was tragic, but it also broke open justice. And I feel like people have new hope that justice will be done uh, for Black people and uh, police accountability from now on. Um, do you agree? Can you think of anyone else who might have a similar situation? Um, yeah, you know, actually what comes to my mind is that it gives me hope because today, you know, being Christian is not a dangerous thing. You know, we're all over the world and we can practice our beliefs openly. We can gather. Um, and there are so many groups in the world so many ethnic groups in the world that don't have that, uh, you know, uh, you know, ethnic groups and maybe even religious groups and that don't have that luxury that are discriminated against or persecuted. And it, it makes me think, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna get there eventually. The world will become more and more a more just place, a more fair place. Yes. I agree. And that's another major message of Pentecost is inclusivity, that the Holy Spirit came down on everyone. It was, it was for everybody. Everyone was blessed that day in that room. So yes, it gives a real reason for hope. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly read directly from the Bible what happened on Pentecost Sunday. Mm -hmm. So you'll find the story in the book of Acts. Let's see, yes, the book of Acts chapter two starting at verse one. So I will start. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Mm. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the story. We should say that the book of Acts is in the New Testament. Remember, there are two parts to the Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Um, the Old Testament is before Jesus. New Testament starts with Jesus, right? Am I right, Janae? Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so the book of Acts is in the New Testament, the second part of the Bible, and it uh, is what? The third or fourth book? And when we say books, we mean like, kind of think of them as chapters. Mm -hmm. So it's a chapter, if you will, mm -hmm. called Acts. And okay, so that is our Pentecost story. Now let's make a craft. We can either write a poem discussing the theme of Pentecost, and we also have a little physical craft. So would you like me to show mine first? And then- Sure, let me see okay. what you have. So the theme of Pentecost is wind and fire. So we have a streamer here. I just took a regular cardboard tube from paper towels, and I cut up some uh, kind of thin paper into little strips like streamers and this and I painted it I have to finish painting the little parts here and you just take it outside and it should blow really nicely in the wind or you can just nice. use it like yeah a wind catcher it's, it's fun it's fun to wave around nice uh, 
make it red so it looks like fire or orange. That would be nice. And you wrote us a haiku. I wrote a haiku. Remember, haiku, it's a poem. It's a Japanese poem. And the first sentence is five syllables. The second sentence, sentence is seven. And the third sentence is five. So it's very short. And in my haiku, I wrote, ah, Holy Spirit, I feel you this Pentecost. You are here always. Hmm. Very, very So good. that's what I wrote. Mm -hmm. And Thank that is you. true because again, we say it a lot throughout all of our classes that God's spirit is in everything. That's why we light the candle. Um, and that, that's a, a, how you say, it's a, a theme that runs throughout the Bible, throughout scriptures, that God's presence is always there. Whether you yes, see it definitely. or not. And all we have to do is reach out to God. Um, at least in my life, that's what I do. When I'm feeling afraid and alone, I just have to take some time to be with myself and to do some praying and eventually a calm comes over me. Maybe you can call it a wind or a, you know, a, a warm embrace, maybe not quite a fire, but a calm comes and I feel that that's God's presence. Mm -hmm. It is, it is, it definitely is. Well, that is our class for today. Thank you so much. I had such a nice time. Uh, and I would like to say a closing prayer. I would get EJ, but these cats, they don't cooperate. They just don't cooperate. Okay, so let's go ahead with our closing prayer. And I'm going to read this one. So let's, uh, you can leave your eyes open or not. It's up to you. Okay, holy God, your power shines through in the elements of water and fire. You have shown there is within us both the power to destroy and build up, to end life and create it. Miss Janae, we, we lost your voice. Can you hear me? We lost your voice. Can you hear me? You hear me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so. Okay, so. Can you read it again for us? Because your voice went away. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Two, one more time. Okay. Holy God, your, your power shines through in the elements of water and fire. You have shown there is within us both the power to destroy and to build it up, to end life and to create it anew. You have baptized us with both and revealed the work you intend in and through us. May it be. Amen. Amen. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's true. We have the power to create and destroy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be very mindful because mm -hmm. we do have that power. Thank you very much, Miss Janae. Thank you, Miss Barbara. And um, we'll see you. Wow. Next, next church school is going to be live. So that's so wonderful. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you online after that. Okay, bye. Bye.